All right, here's another one on Fuzzy Finder, and this time I'm going to use it with Surfrawl, more specifically their uh, bookmarks uh, that they have. And by default, if you ever use Surfrawl, they do have bookmarks, but they don't have an autocomplete for bookmarks. And even if you create your own autocomplete for uh, the bookmarks, uh, they don't have a tagging system. So even if you have all those links, let's say you have like a, a 100 links or something like that, you're not going to remember all those names or was it about or whatever. And that's the downfall with most, uh, you know, command line bookmarking um, program is that you can't really search by tags. But with, uh, you know, a combination with, uh, uh, was that Fuzzy Finder, you can actually have your own tagging system and it's really convenient. So I'll show you that out right here. Basic code here is if you put in your um, bash RC or ZSARC, you know, you give it a uh, alias name here. So we're gonna call this FCF Surf Raw. And we're gonna use the Surf Raw uh, program, which should be in your repositories, just install it. And we're gonna call the um, bookmarks here, right? We're just gonna cat it out. And we're gonna delete any empty lines. And we're gonna sort it in ABC order and all that. And we're gonna use the Fuzzy Finder program. And we're gonna do a dash E for exact match when we're searching. So how do we use this here? Uh, let's go to another uh, window here and if you want to use it from the command line you just type in fcf and surf raw and you see this is uh, how it looks like and if you want to open up let's say um, you know a link that I have so let's say my github or something like that I just type in github uh, show notes or something and it will find out and I open it and it opens it with my browser here right uh, if you want to do this with uh, tmux, uh, you can combine it here. Let me show you the tmux code here. So tmux, uh, I have this one here, right? Just these two lines here. So we're going to do a bind key, and we want no prefix. So we all, all we have to do is hit control and what's a backslash here, and it'll spawn a new window. It'll call it bookmarks, and it's going to run this command. And as soon as the command is uh, was it executed is gonna kill that window so if I hit the control and backslash it'll spawn a new window and you see the bottom here it says bookmarks on uh, window 8 here and again you just type in you know whatever it is uh, you want to go to so let's say for example um, I don't know let me say my comments page or something right so YouTube comments and then it opens that um, let's do that again here. So all you do is spawn a new window is just hit control and backslash, which is my hotkey. And what else are we going to search for? Um, okay. Let's say, uh, game deals or something. Right. And there you go. Game deals. And it opens the game deals and I can look at it and do it, whatever I want. So that's a good thing about using this is you can search, um, uh, either the, the URL itself. The name that you gave it or um, you know tags so let me show you that here how to set that up um, if you don't know how to use surf raw just watch my playlist on it let me show you where the playlist is at or yeah if you go to my channel there's a playlist thing here um, you know you can use and there should be one called um, surf raw there you go this surf raw here you know, I'll post this uh, this link on the bottom of this video so you can see here. But if you don't know what Surf Raw is, just watch some of these videos and you'll understand what it does. I don't want to go over it again though. All right. Anyways, um, set up your Surf Raw and in here, in your home folder, uh, dot config folder, and in your Surf Raw um, folder here. Inside it, there should be a file called bookmarks. If you don't have it, just create one and use your uh, text editor to edit this. So in here it's just basically, um, let me give you an example, okay. If I wanted to have, uh, you know, link to, let's say this, uh, my uh, YouTube channel here, videos here. So I copy the link. You can give it a name, whatever you want. So the format is this is basically, is that uh, you give it a name, let's call this Linux, and then uh, my name here. And we're gonna tab it, and then you paste in the link. 
And anything after this, uh, it doesn't really matter what you type though. I usually have use the pound sign because I know that's for tags. So I'll call this one, let's say uh, my tags Linux, uh, channel, I don't know, open source, you know, so on and so forth. You can type out the whole thing if you want uh, more tags for it. And once that is saved, let's save this here. We're just going to do a spawn a new one here. We're going to spawn a new one. And we're just going to search for, let's say, open source or something, right? And you see that there's a, a, another one called channel here. So we call it channel. And you see there's our um, bookmarks we just created, right? So this one is Lenny Scott Blood You. And then this is our link. And these are uh, our um, tags over here. And you just hit enter and open that um, URL. So that's the convenience of doing it this way. You can actually have tags with it. Um, anyways, that's what I've been using with Tmux. Or you can use it from the command line if you're not using with Tmux. Whatever it is you want to do, right? But I suggest you use it with Tmux because it spawns it really quick and it will just kill itself when it's done. Uh, anyways, that'll be it for this video. Every uh, code I talked about, I'll post you in the show notes uh, in the description of this video. That'll be it for this one.